I bought 24 untested PS3s from Goodwill, and in this video, we're gonna test and fix about eight of them and see if we can turn a profit. Guys, welcome to the Texas Load. By the way, my profit goal is $700 because I wanna buy these two limited edition Xbox 360s, so let's get started. So we're gonna start with Mr. PS3 Slim right here, and <laughs> as most of the consoles in the slot, this one is filthy, covered in dust and dirt, uh, and the warranty seal is removed, so I won't be surprised if it's not working, but let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it works. So the console did boot up, it is clearly factory reset, and now we're booting to the main menu now, but let's go ahead and put a game in, make sure a game works, and uh, yeah, this thing is purring, like it is super quiet. Some of these Slims, man, they run, they run great. All right guys, so this game is working and let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right guys, so fast forward, I just tested three PS3 Slims. They all worked fine, we're all factory reset, so nothing interesting to see. We're gonna move past those and actually go straight into a 360 now and see if we can find something interesting. And right off the bat, I can tell you this one's gonna be uh, sketchy because it has a service date of 2009. It appears to be a, um, a Xenon motherboard, so it probably is red ringed, but we'll plug it in and see if it works. I also just discovered that there's a bent pin inside of AV port. I'm hoping that doesn't mess anything up, but let's go ahead and turn this thing on and see if it red rings. We'll video it here because I don't trust it. So three, two, one. All right, it's booting up. Okay, I think it's gonna work. Okay, okay. Disk drive. Let's go, big game hunter. Best game of all time. Um, surprisingly, it's, no, no, never mind. It's, it's pretty dirty. Um, now, I don't see any picture here. Like, the console clearly booted up. There's no red ring. You got a free game, but there's no picture. So, um, that's cool. Oh, wait. <sighs> what just happened? Okay, so <laughs> there was no red ring when I turned it on, and then I unplugged the AV port and realized that I actually had the AV switch on the HDTV instead of just regular uh, TV. I plugged it back in, and now it's got a three rings. Like, <laughs> All right, let's get the secondary code here. Zero, zero, two, two. Let's see what that is. So I looked up zero, zero, two, two, and it looks like something I can't repair. It's either a bad GPU, bad HANA chip, bad CPU, um, or it could be some broken traces, or if somebody JTAG this wrong, there could be an issue. Uh, basically a bunch of things that are you could fix, but would be a temporary fix, but let me go ahead and take this faceplate off and see if this thing's been open recently. All right, so we can probably rule out it being a, a bad JTAG or a broken trace because the seal is still intact, so nobody's opened it up since it had a service date. It probably just has a you know, bad GPU, bad CPU, whatever. Um, unfortunate. Now what I'm gonna do here is take the hard drive off and we'll try the hard drive on a known working console and see if that works and just see what's on it. So I have the same hard drive into a different console now, a known working console, and we can see we do have some profiles here. We got AZN Pride 17, KC51, Lindahl 15, and we're gonna boot up KCM because uh, they got a 4985 gamer score, which is decent, um, better than most of the ones I see. So let's see what's the, uh, See when the see when it was last played. Oh, that's legendary. What a legendary statement. Just straight up Kmart. That's that's funny because every day I'm hustling. Let's go. This is another uh, epitome of a, a 360. And of course, the last game played is Big Game Hunter, which is the one that was left in that console. So this person was playing Big Game Hunter, really getting it on. 590 gamer score, and then boom, Red Ring of Death. Um, and you can see that the, the last time it was online was in 2013. This place, person was playing NBA Live 07 in 2013. It's a, a bold move. Um, <laughs> funny to see but going back to the Kmart thing I think it's funny because I actually posted on my community tab like less than a week ago about buying GTA 5 from Kmart back in 2013 I just thought that was kind of funny but let's go ahead and check out the, uh, the other profiles here there's no way I just booted up AZN Pride 17 and it says let's go like <laughs> that is that is the oh that's like that's like what mine is that's what mine should be And the last last played game was NCAA football 2010 back in 09 uh, so nothing too crazy Got a little mix here of games um, let's go ahead and check out the last profile here. And after those last two, I really hope this one has something legendary on it. We got, nope, nothing. That's unfortunate. Uh, last played in 08, wow, 15 years ago. All these people though have decent gamer scores. Um, let's go ahead and see what games are saved on the hard drive. It's nothing much, just a bunch of trials. And I think it's a 20 gig hard drive, but let me check. So indeed it is 20 gigs, so the console didn't work, but we got a cool hard drive. That's always good to see. Um, let's go ahead and move on to the next console. And by the way, guys, I am in the process of hiring another full-time employee, so if you're passionate about console and PC gaming, you have video and photo editing experience, and you want a chance to be on camera, then this might be the perfect position for you. Now, I will be holding interviews next week, so if you are interested, please send an email to jacobr at jrobgaming.com, and I'll send you a link to the listing so you can apply, and I hope to hear from you guys. So next up, we have another PS3 Slim, and uh, surprise, it has all the rubber feet. That's Wow, just amazing. Uh, let's go ahead and boot it up and see if it works. Well guys, surprise, the console works. It was factory reset and uh, the game works. 
The only weird thing is that the buttons like don't make any noise, but it doesn't really matter because it works otherwise. So uh, let's move on to the next one. So up next is another PS3 Slim, and it looks like it's been snowed on because it's like all white up here. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, but we do still have the warranty seal intact, and we got a ton of just grimy stuff around the edges. And actually, all four rubber feet, rubber feet are intact. But let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it's factory reset. This is unreal. Another PS3 that was factory reset and works fine. All right, on to the next one. Well, guys, you can probably guess what happened with this console. If booted it up, works, factory reset, uh, just unreal. All right, guys, so I just went through three PS3 Slims that were all factory reset and working fine. Uh, it was almost like I'm scamming Goodwill at this point because of how many working factory reset consoles are giving me, but we've, we finally hit a PS3 Super Slim that is working as well, but factory re it's not factory reset, and we have a, uh, a free game here. We got Call of Duty Black Ops, which is cool to see, but let's go ahead and explore this one. Oh, yeah, we can see their messages. Let's go. This is the, my favorite part. We say... What part of Texas are you from? I live in Temple. And surprise, surprise, it costs us from Texas because I bought it from Texas. All right, so we got, that should be like 250, I think, version 4.8, but let's go ahead and go back to this message box and see if I can come across anything interesting here. Message me when my dad wakes up. Well, shouldn't it be the other way around? <laughs> what? All these messages are from 2014. <laughs> we got this PS3 scam right here. We got a message that says, Dear PSN users, we are still very, feeling very sorry about PSN being down. Because of this, we are not only giving away two free games, we're giving away $50 funds. Yeah, sure you are. Of course, all the game invites are for Black Ops 2. Not surprising at all. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here's the... This is like classic 360 and PS3 messages right here. Let's go ahead and put in this Black Ops game and see if it works. All right, well, surprisingly, Black Ops is working despite it having a bunch of scratches on it. Um, it's not worth that much anyway, but let's go ahead and go back to this main menu, and I kind of want to see if there's any... Anything else interesting saved on here? All right, guys, so this is just Blu-ray drive data utility, but we got this guy. He watched some Curse of Chucky and The Wolf of Wall Street. Um, it doesn't do us any good, but just interesting to see. The user's name is Little Texas. That's amazing. All right, so checking out the last time this... Wait, wait. Okay, that's when I just played. <laughs> I just booted that up, and I guess it, it made a pro pro player profile. Uh, but before that, it was last played in 2016 when they watched YouTube. How much you want to bet this guy watched my channel? Probably not, but that would be funny. We got FIFA 11 back in 2015, ya yeah boy. Unsurprisingly, we got GTA 5 back in 2014. Only played to 1.6% of the game. That's kind of lame, not gonna lie. So I just connected to the internet and updated the console. I'm gonna try something a bit sketchy here. Um, under the chat room, this guy still has this login info saved here. So we're gonna try to sign in and see if it works. Yeah, so I have to scan this QR code and sign in on my device, uh, which is not gonna work because I don't actually have this guy's password info. So. Uh, and now his password just disappeared. So that's, that's actually a good security feature by Sony because you don't want randos like me signing into people's accounts, especially people who are gonna actually like steal their info. Uh, so that's, uh, I guess, good for this guy. I really just wanted to sign into this guy's account and message his friend and be like, hey buddy, I got your friend's PS3 here and see what he, uh, just see what would happen. But uh, yep, yeah, no dice. Let's go ahead and turn this console off and move on to the next one. So unfortunately, I'm fresh out of PS3s for today, but I have some Wii's and 360s still to test. We have this Wii in a Just Dance 4 box, which I think looks pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside of the box. And of course, this is still part of the Texas load and it looks pretty basic. We got like one piece of cardboard. We have a Wii sensor bar, a AV cable, and wow, it's one of the very rare white Wii's that does not have uh, GameCube compatibility. Now, is there an SD card? There's not, but this console is, hey, it's pretty clean compared to most Wii consoles, and we do have some stuff down here. We have, you know, the, the manual, the inserts, the uh, my Club Nintendo advertisement, and of course our power brick, but nothing else. I'm really hoping Just Dance 4 is inside of this Wii. So Wii is on, but no free game, which is unfortunate. I always like to get some, <laughs> some free games in the Wii. Oh, we got a lot of channels, nice. Uh, first thing we'll do here is we'll put a game, game in and see if it works. All right, cool, so Wii Sports is working, and next up we're gonna check when this thing was last played, which is honestly my favorite part. Oh, here we go. June 2013, we've got Dangerous Hunt 2011. What a <laughs> random game to play. Oh, okay, so we, got a, we, we also have a note about the Wii U on this page. So this person probably transferred the Wii U stuff on June 1st, 2013, which makes sense. But honestly, if they transfer their stuff, I don't think there'd be any like save data left. So I, maybe that didn't happen, I don't know. And of course, last but not least, we have to check out the Miis and another lame one, we got three Miis here. We got Bubba, we got Kayla with a big smiley face and Sid. All right, cool. Well, uh, let's move on to the next console now. All right, next up, we'll do another Wii here. We have a GameCube compatible Wii this time. Very dirty and stuff, of course, uh, no SD card. And uh, yeah, let's plug it in, see if it works. Let's go, baby. We got Punch Out. We got Super Mario. We got Ninja, Ninja Gaiden. We got uh, Ghosts and Goblins, King of the Monsters, Zombies Ate My Neighbors, <laughs> Double Dragon, and Life Force. Hey, man, like, 
I cannot complain about that. So just a little background for you guys, in case you didn't know, back in the day you could download classic games from the Wii Shop channel and that's why they're all on here, which is awesome to see. And uh, yeah, we got a game in here and it's working and the last two Wiis are actually like, they sound perfect. Like I come across a lot of Wiis that work, but they're kind of loud. The last two, pristine. And yep, Wii Sports is working with about an issue. Now, the one thing about the classic games is I think a lot of them, you actually have to have a Wii Classic controller, I think, if I remember correctly. But let's go ahead and check when this thing was last played. All right, August 2014, we got Wii Sports for 38 minutes. And then we got Smeghead put in some Wii Fitness results, which is odd because it's not under the play data. Okay, whatever. But unfortunately, they did not leave Wii Sports inside of the console like everybody else does. But let's go ahead and see uh, how many Miis we have on here. And we got f four. Dude, come on. We got Wes, Smeghead, D, and Mace. Macy, I, I don't know. Lame again. This console's working fine. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, guys, next up, we got a PS3 Slim, and this is a matte one that looks pretty nice. We got the warranty seal intact, and oh, it's GameStop certified pre owned. Uh, it was reformatted on 9 3, so September 3rd. I wish it had a year because that'd be very interesting to see. Probably like 2010. Who knows? Let's see if we have a hard drive here. All right, no hard drive. Hopefully, it has four gigs built in, but let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it works. Probably gonna jinx myself here, but the 360 Slims have been super reliable in this entire series. Run really well. Let's see if there's a free game, please. Oh, dang it. I was hoping to get Wii Sports in my 360 here. And yeah, we got some saved. Oh, this guy's this guy's got 12,000 gamer score. Hey, so we got ATX Deception. We got Got Stars. We got I Am The Butthole, one, two, three, four. Just a great name. OG Dora, Yo Daddy 360. Uh, so we got somebody, this is like a full family or a, a dorm room or something. Just a full, full suite of people. We got some mimes here. Let's go ahead and log in as uh, I on the butthole because we just, we just got to. So checking out this guy's profile. He last played in 2017, which is actually fairly recent. Now let's check out the more interesting profiles now. All right, so ATX Deception. Yes, his, his message is your mom. Let's go. I live in Texas. <laughs> Dude, perfect. Your mom and I live in Texas. Like, I can't ask for anything else there. This is... This might be the best profile I've ever seen on the 360. All right. Uh, last played in 2016, Modern Warfare 3. There's not many games. It, wait, hold on. This is the guy that had a bunch of gamer, like a large gamer score, right? Oh, yeah, never mind. This is the guy that had 850 gamer score. I thought I booted up the guy that had 14 or 12,000 or whatever. Let, let me check out the guy with 12,000. Okay, here, here we go. Yeah, we got Got Stars is the guy with 12,000. Drizzy, okay. L yes, lick my nuts. Let's go. Perfect, perfect bio. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops, that last played in 2016. And yeah, he's got uh, 70 games he's played. Which, which makes sense. Um, let's see the first time this guy played. First time he was online was 2012 with NBA 2K12, but it looks like he got no gamer score at all, so that's interesting. Le hey, Lego Indiana Jones. I played that game a lot back in the day. I don't know why, but it was, I always loved Lego games. Always cool to see the, uh, the mix of games here. Let's go ahead and boot up to the, uh, or sign out and get to the other profile now. All right, I have high expectations for Yo Daddy 360. Considering what the other profiles had on them, this one's gotta have a good bio and message. I really hope so. Oh, come on, man. You got the name Yo Daddy 360 and you don't have a message on your profile or anything? <sighs> Lame. Let's go ahead and put a, let's put a game in and see if it works. All right, sweet. So the game is working. Of course, this console will be listed on my website down below, so check it out. And uh, man, what a great console. What a, some great profiles on here. Let's move on to the next one now. So next up, I have probably the dirtiest Wii I've ever seen. That looks like insect stuff. I don't know, but there's no SD card in here. It is a blue console though, which is cool, but let's plug it in and see if it works. My prediction for this console is there's a free game, but it doesn't work. And let's see if that comes true. Ooh, we got, yeah, X-Men Origins Wolverine. I don't think that's worth hardly anything. And oh man, that call, that game is like mutilated there, but we'll put it back in and see if it reads up. And yeah, we got all standard standard channels here. What? I don't know if I've ever seen that message before. Yeah, so this drive is definitely broken, not even spinning up at all. I think I mentioned this in my last video, but I don't even bother fixing Wii disk drives anymore because there's so many tiny little issues that could be wrong. And you can buy a working Wii with a working disk drive for like very cheap. So it's not even worth it for me to fix these Wii disk drives because of, you know, how many I have in this, this whole lot. But let's go ahead and find when this console was last played. All right, apparently this Wii was just never played because there's no data on it at all. <laughs> Let me check the save data real quick. So there's actually a lot of save data here. I'm not sure why it's not showing up um, in the, you know, the calendar or whatever, but let's go ahead and check out uh, the me situation here. Oh, jackpot. Finally, somebody, a man of culture here. We got a butthead. Heck yeah. We've got, uh, we got another butthead. We got Kale, dad. We, 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 pee pee. <laughs> All right, guys, well, this Wii at least partially works. It'll be again for sale down below if you wanna get a cheap Wii, but let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, next up we'll do a 360 because this one seems very intriguing. Uh, we have a Turtle Beach sticker on top. And of course the console's 
dirty. And then here on the back, we have a manufacturer date of 2008, and it appears to be a Falcon motherboard. And of course, it's a white console with a black hard drive, so it's a, a mismatched console here. Let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it works. So my prediction here is the console turns on, but the disk drive is stuck. All right, three, two, one, let's plug this console, or turn this console on. Got a green light, but that doesn't mean much because it could red ring. Got any free game? Hey, well, I, <laughs> it's stuck, of course. I haven't seen a stuck disk drive in quite a while, actually. And hey, it's, it's booting up. That's a good sign. Oh, I tried the disk drive a second time and it opened up without a problem. And we got, hey, we got some profiles here. Let's go. What is going on? We got Fatal Draken. He's got 17,000 gamer score. Nice. Looks like a surfer or something. I rove, I rove Roo. Add me on PS4, Fatal underscore Draken. All right, guys, go ahead and do it. He said to. Uh, we got Black Ops 2 is the last game played. Skate 3, oh, man of culture. All right, last game that was played online was Titanfall back in 2017. So, yeah, it looks like this, this guy definitely got a PS4 in 2017. I was like, all right, screw the 360 onto the PS4, which is, I think, what a lot of people did. Uh, Dark Souls, Skyrim, Roos, and, of course, GTA 5. Like, you can't play 360 without GTA 5. And the first game he ever played here was Ultimate MK3 back in 2010. Uh, so this is definitely like a secondhand console here. And, oh, dude, we have a lot of profiles here. Wow. Okay, let's go ahead and surf through here and see if we can find something interesting. Keep it 3, Hunna. <laughs> All right, last played in 2016, Modern Warfare 2. He's got 106 games played. Wow, that's that's impressive. Next up, we got Connor Witt 1. Uh, step up and do something. I got those hands. <laughs> these are these are gold, man. This is like, oh man, there's so many profiles on here. I, I bet every single profile has some ridiculous saying here. Next up, we got Crazy Height, the Minecraft character. And all of them like actually have a decent gamer score. Like Even the, the worst one I've seen so far is 6,000 which is nothing to sneeze at. It's, it's nerf for nothing. <laughs> You're not leaving till someone tells me. Last game played was 2K15 in 2015. All right, makes sense. Next up is Fire Skater with 6,000 gamer score. Got a Halo uh, helmet on here. Lame. No message, no bio, no nothing. Come on, man. Last played Minecraft in 2016. Oh man, you're letting me down here. All right, we got Forfeit Light 18 next up, and this guy is like a ghost. 8,000 gamer score, 117. What does that mean? Not last played in 2015, all right, strange. Next up is the Texan Ninja. Let's go. <laughs> yes. No bio, no message. Come on, man. Oh, he had so much potential. All right, but next up, of course, we'll of course uh, test out a game here, see if it works. So surprisingly, the game is reading and loading up. Now it's making a kind of strange noise. My guess is the rails need to be re-greased because it's just making like a squeaking noise. Um, and of course, we need to replace the rubber band. So let's go ahead and open this console up and see if we can get these uh, this thing like cleaned up a little bit. All right, guys. So I just opened up this 360, and <laughs> my goodness, it might be. The dirtiest 360 I've ever seen, at least in the past, you know, three or four years. Like, look at the side there. Holy crap. Like, the, the camera does not even do it justice. It looks even worse in person. Um, I'd say it rivals the Desert PS3. I don't even know why I don't have gloves on right now. At least I can wash my hands. But, like, wow, this thing is just covered. It's the Desert 360. I mean, let's, let's go ahead and open up the disk drive, though, and see what's lurking in there. So between what we just saw and what I'm looking at now, I can definitely see why this 360 was having issues. You can see just, like, inside filthy all along the rails on both sides and then i i would imagine these clumps right here of hair uh, are probably the main culprit for why this console was having issues reading games so i have this disk drive mostly cleaned up now we'll, we'll finish it up later but i have the main components clean so we can do this demonstration here but uh, basically what i'm going to do now i'm going to do three things i'm going to replace the band that goes right here that makes the disk drive open and close i'm going to re-grease these three rails and i'm going to clean the uh, laser right here so we'll start with the band i just have a little bag of them here um, some are better than others, but we'll try this one. And uh, you can either use your hand if your hands are clean, or you can use a, you know tweezers, or whatever. But we're just going to try to thread it in here, basically along this uh, this little wheel and this wheel. So that's in place now, and you can see it's running nice and smooth back and forth. The next thing we're going to do is clean the laser. So I have some 99% isopropyl alcohol on this Q-tip. We're just going to lightly do some swirls around here, get off any dust and debris, and then switch the other end and just dry it off. And that should do the trick if there's any, you know, any dust or anything on the laser. And then last but not least, we're gonna take another Q-tip, take our white lithium grease, um, get a little bit on the Q-tip, or you can squeeze it right on the rail. And we're just gonna, you know, spread it lightly across the rails. You know, you don't want too much and you don't want too little either. It's kind of a kind of a balance. So I have those rails greased up now and we'll put everything back together, well, partially back together and test it out. Hopefully it works. There is a chance that, you know, there's just a bad laser, bad motor, uh, you know, a few different things that could be an issue here, but we'll plug it back in and see what it does now. All right, plugged in now, let's go ahead and turn it on. All right, so does the tray open? Let's see. Definitely better, still, still not perfectly smooth, but 
Yeah, that's that's pretty darn good for how <laughs> for how dirty this console is. And then next we'll put MW2 in and see what that does. All right, so the console is working. I think it's loading faster than it was before. And actually before I couldn't even make it to the multiplayer menu, like it just like kind of stalled out and froze. Uh, so it's definitely doing better now. It's still making, sometimes making that weird noise, like squeaky noise. Uh, so my guess is that it's just like a, it's a laser going out or a motor going out, but it is working for now. But yeah, unfortunately I don't have a motor or a laser to replace with this console right now before this video needs to go out. So we'll just leave it as is right now, but it is fully working. Um, just a little bit loud, but that's just kind of how 360s are. But let's go ahead and move on to the next console. Next up we have a GameCube compatible Wii. Of course, missing the flaps. Let's go ahead and turn it on and see if it works though. And ooh, we got a game. All right, Wii Sports, probably. Let's go ahead and check. <laughs> Dude, you can't make this up. Another copy of Wii Sports. Just ridiculous. This, this game itself is almost worth as much as this console. Just amazing. But, um, <laughs> oh, I gotta love it. Channel's pretty basic. Wii Sports is loading up. I'll assume it works. We'll test it in depth later. But let's go ahead and see when this console was last played. All right, March 2014. We got something on the screen. Oh, pfft, useless. Here we go, February 2013. Yeah. Netflix for three hours. Wii Sports for about an hour. And then... That was it. Of course, next up, we gotta see if there's any me's here. We got a few, solid number. We've got David, Donna, Leslie. Dude, these are like normal me's, like normal people with normal names. <laughs> oh, except for that one, okay. But yeah, other than that one guy, it's all pretty normal me's. Uh, so the console's working, which is good to see. Free copy of Wii Sports. And uh, yeah, let's move on to the next one. Next up, I have a black Wii. It's got a torn sticker on top, very scratched up and no SD card, but let's plug it in and see if it works. I accidentally pressed the eject button and there's no disc in there, so that's unfortunate. All right, boot it up to the main menu. No free games. We got all the standard standard apps on here. Let's go ahead and see if a game works. And yep, Wii Sports is working. Let's go ahead and see when this console was last played. January 2017, we've got... <laughs> what a good dog. <laughs> Why is this here, but there's no record of how much was played? All right, that's strange. Anyway, the, uh, oh, Skylanders Trap Team for three hours. Wii Sports Resort for an hour. Wow, this person played for seven hours this day. Played all day, but uh, 2017, so hey, that's kind of recent for a Wii. Let's go ahead and check out the Miis now because <laughs> after seeing that Mii that was saved on there, uh, I bet we're gonna find some interesting ones here. Oh yeah, here we go. Literally every single person except for like two Miis have beanies on. <laughs> Why? Ninja Set. oh wait, there's, <laughs> there's Ninja 7, Ninja 9, Ninja 8, Bank Robber, <laughs> Ninja 3, Ninja 4, Ninja 5. Well, hey, the console's working. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So next up, I have a 360 Slim. It's a glossy one, so very beat up and no hard drive inside. So I'm not sure if it has four gigs or not, but we'll check. Uh, let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it works. All right, three, two, one. Got power, disk drive. Ooh, get, hey, baby, let's go. GTA 5, uh, but it's only disk two. So what is that worth? Like maybe 10 bucks, probably not, but that's kind of funny to see GTA 5 in there. There must have been a hard drive in here at some point because you gotta download a bunch of data to play GTA 5, so there's definitely not gonna be any storage built in. Yeah, there's no storage at all. The game is loading up. It's gonna give me an error code here though. Yep, there it is. All right, so you gotta plug in the uh, disc one to, to install it, but at least we know the disc drive works. Let's go ahead and go back to the main menu, turn this thing off, and I luckily found another hard drive we had just lying around in the lot, so I'm gonna plug this in and see if there's anything on it. Wait, what are the chances? I just put in this hard drive. It was formatted. But the console does work and we got half of GTA 5, which is kind of cool. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully we hit our profit goal. I'm assuming we probably did because we had a bunch of working PS3s and those are pretty valuable. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.